All right, we got a bit of a silly one today, guys. It appears that some of the streamers have graduated from confusing people with tier three content to scaring them about certain server populations. This is brought to you by my Patreon people. You guys are awesome. Let's go take a look at the silliness. I want to preface the entire thing with, I didn't personally see Stoops say this stuff, so I don't want to come at him and attack him. I don't know what the angle was and how blown out of proportion this might be or anything because it's the internet, right? But we still want to take a look at what are people afraid of now, right? That's the concern here, you know, can we damage control and help people out here? Uh, so, we see, I've seen a lot of doom and gloom about the NA West from a lot of places. I plan on playing NA West. Let's send some positive vibes to the awesome people on NA West. Uh, you know, apparently they're, you know, getting people scared. The population's not going to be serious enough. You got this dude down here. People like Stoops are trying to avoid something that hasn't happened. And then creating what they're trying to avoid. I particularly like the uh, mod comment here that says, Stop letting streamers and YouTubers scare you. Please do. Please do. I really try my hardest to do the opposite on this channel for you guys. We're going to take a look at what I said on this thread here because it's still exactly how I feel about the situation. This was last night. You know, I saved it all before I went to bed. Uh, you know, this is too funny. People wait years to finally play without a VPN and bad ping only to choose bad ping over a hilariously silly notion. It's not a game with multiple servers per region. Like, if the population is lower, you just have less channels to pop into, but there's going to be plenty of channels that are still nice and full for you. Like I said, this is still how I feel. I stand by this. Uh, we're going to go into the game and take a look and, you know, I'm going to show you exactly why. All right, so we're in the game now. We're here at the server list. You know, for the purpose of the video, just pretend that this says East and West. There, there's not a breakdown in this game of like, okay, you're on NA West and now you're choosing between 10 servers on NA West. And if you accidentally choose the low pop server, then now you're screwed and you have to wait for cert. Like this game doesn't work like that, right? It's like, that's the genius. That's the intelligence of these newer server style systems where they channel everything and like phase and layer everyone in, right? And you just get moved channels when it gets too full. It's the beauty of the system. All right, so we're in the game now and we're gonna take a look up at the server channels, right? Cause that's the way that these servers work is you've just kind of got like your region of them and then everyone's gonna be inside of those and then you just get turned into channels, right? So we come up here and you've got like a bunch of channels you can go pop into. That's, you know, again, the beauty of these systems is that regardless of, of how it goes, like the the game has to get kind of close to dying, essentially, for there to be a real issue. I also think that this is highly, um, the difference between the two is really exaggerated here in RU. Again, the game is not nearly as popular here in this region, and this particular server I'm on is essentially the coordinated server that everyone who plays from other regions, the EU and the NA, and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of them, probably at least over 50,000, right? You know, just the Lost Ark uh, unofficial player Discord that's full of these people is, you know, like over 60,000 members, and they all play on this region of the game, right? So there are like way more channels in this version of the the game here but even if i go to the other server there's still like at least two or three channels in this game in this region that's kind of joking about like you know it's, it's dying and it, it might be like kind of a dying game in ru when all the eu and na people stop playing on it i'd also like to point out that that big difference between them that's being exaggerated by this like na eu player base this is exactly what that original like that other reddit comment was saying that by worrying about these things and putting them out there to their streams of like you know thousands and thousands and stoops has got like 60,000 you know subs on youtube also and stuff what, what's happening is that you're gonna create the same fucking problem whereas if you just shut up then right, it would probably be pretty balanced. Like maybe East would have like 10 servers and West would have like maybe eight, right? Because there is a larger little bit population in the East just naturally due to regions, the way they break down. But there wouldn't be this crazy like eight to 10 channels to, to three channels because literally every single NAEU person is stacked on the server that starts with A. That's how we identify it because none of us can read the Russian name. I'm very happy to say that our saving grace is probably that your average gamer who plays the game 
they don't watch any content creators at all, right? They don't read the forums at all. They either play the game and have fun, or they play the game, don't have fun, and then they don't play the game anymore. This is sponsored by the Patreon supporters as usual. Thank you so much for the support. And if you enjoy my content, maybe drop me that like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.